together. Hey! This is Lenny. <laughs> and I'm Kiyoki. <clears throat> so today, we're going to be talking about ecosystems. So Ecosystem. Why don't you give us a little bit about your thoughts about what an ecosystem <clears throat> is. Because we'll be talking a lot, of, uh, uh, we'll be saying ecosystems a lot in all our videos uh, and in our series. So we want to make sure that you understand where we're coming from when we talk about it. Alright, so when we're talking about ecosystems and why are we talking about ecosystems, y'all should have learned this in like first grade. Really? Yeah. Ecosystems? They're talking about ecosystems in first grade? Oh yeah. Maybe third grade, like science. Anyway. Man, I don't know what school you went to. <laughs> I, went, I went to the school I see, I see extremely did bright. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, my son, he goes to an outdoor preschool, right? You heard of those, right? Outdoor preschool. Mm -hmm. Outdoor. There's no classroom. There's no inside. Like, there's not even somewhere where you could just go inside and, and get warm real quick. He just put him in the backyard. Everything. <laughs> Basically, that's what it is. It's, a, on, big, it's a big yard, uh, and they made it into a preschool, so the kids get to explore their, school. their ecosystem. That's a backyard right. with a babysitter. Yep. Pretty much. Mm -hmm. So, are you done? <laughs> you, you may proceed. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Judge. <laughs> so, ecosystem is your, um, your environment. Wherever you go, it's your environment. If you think of a bird in the sky, if you think of a tree, if you think of a river, if you think of a fish in a fish tank, uh, everything has an ecosystem. There's producers, there, there's consumers, there's decomposers, right? And everything works in a big cycle and a circle. Um, that's the world we live in. Our world is an ecosystem. And those topics we'll be talking about in later videos, so make sure you uh, look out for those later uh, mm -hmm. those topics. So when we talk about ecosystems, we're going to be talking about being aware of your ecosystem. It's very important to be aware of who is a producer in your ecosystem, who is a consumer in your ecosystem, and who is a decomposer in your ecosystem. Uh, we're going to go over the definitions of each and give you examples of what those things are, producers, consumers, and decomposers, because we want you to identify and label each one of those in your specific ecosystems, and your ecosystem will change depending on where you go. Do you, when you go home, different system. When you go to school, different system. When you travel, different system. So uh, all those systems are gonna intertwine though. And so the more you're aware of your purpose and who affects you and how you affect that space when you move, um, you're gonna be very, very, very successful in everything you try to do. So the idea about Ecosystems was really mm -hmm. developed by Yuri Bronfenbrenner. He's a, a Russian-born uh, American psychologist who came up with this idea of center of self with within different environments, circles of influence. So you, as the person, uh, the expert of, of your own experience, are, is at the very center of all these different circles. Uh, then you have your circle of influence, the media circle of influence, that's your family, uh, the teachers at your school, the school itself. Uh, your neighborhood, uh, your social circle, your friends um, that are part of that system. And, and it grows from there to all the way to what we call as a macro level. So very big picture, uh, satellite in the sky, look at what are the largest thing, larger things that impact you at, on a daily basis. It could be the political system. It could be the social influences or cultural influences from your own ethnicity, your own background, the culture of your neighborhood. Uh, historical influence, uh, the things that have happened in the past that are now impacting the decisions in current day contemporary America. So to clarify, Gio, you're talking about <clears throat> a model of ecosystems. That's right. And then what I was saying was the physical ecosystems that is put here on earth that was created for us to live in. Uh, and so when we put those two together, we have a physical and we have built ecosystems depending on what our systems are, which our lives are made up of tons and tons of different types of systems, roads, buildings, our jobs, our social. All these uh, different things that you at the center of it are always involved in. Yep. And uh, Bronfenbrenner, he used this 
model to explain life at a college system or a university system. And uh, and it's being used a lot more today than it has been in the past. And so you'll hear this idea being tossed around or this word being used a lot in academic circles. And uh, because as you go into a university, there are resources, our faculty members or staff members who will all impact your well-being or your life as an academic, as a scholar. And um, how do you actually navigate those systems is really important, but most importantly, is the, the the tools and resources that are at hand to help you understand like these are the re resources that are available for you as a student. Yep. So um, it all starts with you. You're the you're the main driver in all this. Um, you're a physical person. So physically, if you are not aware of where you at, who you are, and what you're doing, it all starts with you. So we gotta start. We gotta. Um, get you to think in the right space and get you focused and that's what this uh, portion and segment will be about so check us out if you're interested in more, hearing more at strivetogether.com if you have questions about uh, things that you would like to know more about going to university or college system make sure you leave that in the comment section we'll be make sure to answer that once he's done drinking his drink and um, anything else um like, subscribe, so you share. <laughs>